Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get a flat, nice tummy. Look at that. Yes. So basically, I just go to the gym like every other regular person. When I get to the gym, I like to stretch. Stretching is so important. You gotta freaking stretch or else you'll be sore and you won't be able to move. After I stretch, I like to start my um, workout with the half a mile run or and walk or a whole mile run. But it depends on how I'm feeling. So today I did a half a mile walk to start up. So you're just going to start walking and you're going to increase the incline as you go and increase the speed. You want it to be a fast, brisk walk. So I just keep on walking and then I increase the speed and I start running. I try to keep uh, maintain a steady pace. You don't want to go too fast or too slow so you don't give up too early. So you just want to maintain a nice pace. And I just keep on running and running. And then after my... <sighs> half a mile run I start my bench crunches so you want to just keep your legs straight as possible it's really hard to keep your legs straight especially if they're long so I just try my best to do that and then I just keep on squeezing and crunching crunching and squeezing and this one is like one of the more painful ones I was whooping niggas for a piece of a brownie these bitches had doubt me now I'm too legit since the radio next I'm going to be doing my knee raises. Knee raises are actually really hard, especially if your legs are long, to keep your legs straight. So you want to keep your legs as straight as possible. As you can see here, I'm struggling to do so. But if you have a slight bend in your knees, that's fine too. Then I like to, on my last set, I like to do my oblique. So I'll turn my legs to the side and kind of um, pull them up in a sideways fashion. And you want to do three sets of 12. So in total, you're going to be doing 36, I think. Yeah. Next, I do the cable crunches. So these are really awkward because, like, the way the... It's just really awkward. But you, once you find your um a good position, just keep on going at it. And it makes it easier when you add a lot of weight because it stabilizes your body. Next, I'm doing knee ups. If you don't have this machine at your gym, just do um, any exercise on any ab machine and do three sets of 12 reps. I've been sending bitches all over the country. My double cut money. My jeweler King Johnny, your bitch wanna fuck me. But she's too ugly. Who call me? Can't touch this. Next, I do Bosu ball crunches. These are really hard. It looks really easy, and it looks like I'm not like really moving, but these are hard. And you'll start feeling the quivering in your body because you're trying to balance your body on the Bosu ball, which I found very difficult, but I pushed through it, and it hurts. So, <laughs> yeah, just want to put your chest up and keep on going. Next, I just do 50 crunches. Everybody knows that. Very self-explanatory. I zoom past that real quick. And next, I did um, Russian twists with heavy weights. So this is a 12-pound ball, and Russian twists are just your legs are floating in the air, and you're moving side to side. So you want to do three sets of 12 reps. And these hurt, too. All of my calling the G. All of this all of the G. And then lastly, we're going to finish off with 10 burpees. Um, I think burpees are a really good exercise. It's a really good compound exercise, and it gets you working from top to bottom. Thank you guys for watching. This is just a quick beginner ab exercise, cardio, on how to get your flat tummy. I love the sound of the G.